Hello friends, I hope you're doing swell and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Make Over the Townie series. In part one, we did the cast makeover. Part two, we got a good start on this hot mess of the house. And now in part three, we're going to finish up the upstairs and do a little bit more of the landscaping downstairs. I'll have the other parts in the description box, but let's go ahead and get into build and buy mode and let's put some final touches on this Glimmerbrook house. Okie dokie. So yesterday we did quite a bit on this house and I think it looks pretty good not gonna lie there's some like little improvements that I do need to make like this little color blocking right here I need to figure out if I want to make this all the same color and then also the windows are kind of all over the place but other than that I am really loving the way that this house has turned out other than that little thing right there but I think overall the bones are pretty good on this house and I am pretty satisfied and maybe add some type of trim now I said I wasn't gonna do a trim just because like I don't know trims are okay in my opinion but this might help with separating some of these color blocks and then also I think it makes the house just look a little bit more finished yeah I think I like that a little bit more and then we're gonna just color this all the same. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe I want all of this to be dark at the top. Yeah. Let's do something like that. Yeah, I think I like that. And then I wanna also see about putting some of these columns around. So I'm gonna turn my move objects on. Okay, wait, hold on, hear me out. We move this over here. So it looks like it's actually holding up the house. And we got quite a bit of change, so we could put these all the way around. Can I like bring it up? I can. <gasps> Y'all, pro freaking tip. I like this a lot, which means I need to move over this found, like the roofing over just a little bit so it looks a little more neat. That looks good. That looks way better. But if you didn't see last episode, this is what the indoors is looking like. So you come in, we have this little entertainment set and a gallery wall right here. We have some stairs, a little uh, one tile bathroom, um, our little kitchenette and dining room. But it looks like our bookcases got deleted. I don't know how that happened. But our bookcases have been deleted. There they go. I'm still happy with the way this looks. I do think that this is a little bit empty, but I don't know what to put right here. But maybe not having it super cluttered is okay. So we'll just leave it as is for right now. But coming upstairs, this is the current layout of our upstairs area. I want to put some extra saucer lights so it's a little bit more brighter. I'm intending on this to be Grace's room, Tomac's room, a little landing area where they can have a study nook and then a full bathroom. So let's go ahead and get the bathrooms done first because the bathrooms are my least favorite thing to do. They're just okay. They're, they're nothing special, just okay. So I'm gonna go by Realm of Magic. Ooh, no. I was gonna go by Realm of Magic and stuff, but it doesn't look like they have a proper like shower tub combo. And I think I want one of these for this area. Let's go ahead and put that right there. And I'm thinking of adding a wall. We can put like a little um, brown archway. I'm gonna search by dark brown and scroll all the way down. And that's gonna be our little toilet situation. I am gonna take some of these cabinet trees and put them like right here, like a little corner piece right there. I think Room of Magic yeah they did come with a really cute let's actually use this instead because this one is really nice so maybe we can do like double vanities right there but we need to make sure we keep that silver and black theme going on because we don't really have much of gold happening and then i'm thinking also maybe we can add some little clutter so let's go ahead and add two little hand towels put two on either side and then we can get some really pretty like sconce lighting and there are some nice ones from Growing Together that just came out. I don't know if they're gonna be a little bit too decorative, but I think they might fit the vibe. So we're gonna do like three across, even though those are all different height levels. Let's do something like that. Then what if I delete that? Yeah, that looks so good. Okay, going back to these like little accessories and stuff, I did wanna add some little robes. So let's add two of those. 
And then I think the last thing we need is a little mat. And I want to use this, like, no fatigue mat. Because I think they have a yeah, black swatch. That looks good. And that is their shared bathroom. I like it. It's simple. It's cute. It does the job. And I am satisfied with it. So let's go ahead and work on Grace's room. Now I am going to change their like wallpaper and stuff just to kind of fit their aesthetic a little bit better and we can add like carpets and things along that nature so a room of magic did come with some really decorative and nice beds that i feel like i want to use yeah use for both of these like rooms so we'll do one right there and let's go ahead and just place one over here also now that is clipping into the ceiling fan so can we is there any way that we can like center this between the two windows without it looking crazy? I think we can. Well, actually, I kind of like it on this wall. So let's just do that. I'm going to move the ceiling fan over. They did come with some rugs I'm not too big of a fan of. We tried to use some yesterday, and I was just like, they are only okay. So we're going to use some of the big full, uh, furniture from Realm of Magic, but maybe we can go in and add some from like some different packs that might look a little bit better. Speaking of... Let's go ahead and go by Strangerville, Paranormal, and Vampire because I feel like those three are really, really good. I'm going to add maybe these from Paranormal. And I can't remember what colors they don't like. <laughs> so that is my bad if she come in this room and she's like, I do not like the colors. That is, I'll take the L for that. That one's on me. But I do want to utilize some of this really pretty like decorative stuff. So let's make these her little side tables. And I want to add this little dish from Tiny Living. And then maybe we can add like some plants. Like a little, and we use this also downstairs. So it kind of still fits the vibe. I like how this is kind of a cozy little corner. So I'm gonna keep it that way and I'm gonna add another little, something that's kind of long and skinny. So I'm thinking maybe like, I love pompous grass. I think it's really cute. I don't think it's in style anymore, but personally me, I love me some pompous grass. So let's look for some, I want some, a big fluffy rug. That's not really fluffy, but it is, that's too decorative. It is big though. Then we have these from Laundry Day. Cool. And then maybe we can put our little desk or something over in this area. I want to say there was one that came with Realm of Magic. And I want to find like a really nice red chair. Something that's like a little rich, but still kind of ooh, fits the vibe. So we could do that. We could do something a little bit more patterned like that. I kind of like that first option. That's cute. Let's do that. So I want to add a few more little bookcases over in Grace's room. Because I feel like since she's into potions, maybe she's always researching some new, some new ingredients. So I want to make that kind of known over in this room. Now, I might turn on Debug to see about getting some of like the potions. Okay, instead of turning on debug for this, because I like debug, but like it is a little bit more complicated to use as a newbie. And since I wanna play into Grace doing potions, we're gonna add this little curious set over there. So she's like making different potions and things along that nature. And then we can get another one of those little side tables that came with this pack. And then maybe we can just add like some clutter onto it. So it looks like she's doing research. So some of these like files and maybe a few of like these random boxes down here that she's like germinating. Okay, so I do wanna add a few more details to her room. We can add this little shoe, little rack over here in the corner. Um, some more books on her J. Then maybe that little cow plant as well. And then also, of course, got to add some perfume. So instead of the books, perhaps, maybe we can just add that perfume over there. I like that. And then let's change that to black. And I feel like we need to add one more little picture right here. I did add some black artwork right here. So maybe we can find just something else that complements that right in that little area. Could do like this little vintage painting. Maybe this is of her and Tomax and they met like years and years ago but i like that okay and so now i'm thinking for her room maybe we should go with like a dark like a wine purple red something like that or we can do like this which is a little less intimidating so let's do that and i'm gonna go ahead and let me see if there's any other swatches yeah let's use maybe this dark 
cherry brown but that is grace's room i love the way that it turned out so let's go ahead and do this landing and then we'll do toe max's room okay so for the landing i think i want to go with some more richer colors so i'm thinking of adding one of these from either vampire spellcaster or strangerville we could go very stark and red like this but i was thinking something of like a chocolate brown which honestly that might suit pretty well down here i like that but like it might be a little bit too dark. I want something that kind of complements what we already have going on. Let's see, what if we use this? Like, what do we think of this? Personally, I think it's really cute. I wish you could answer me. I think I like that. Should we do it? But it does clash with like that, that white, like this white thing that we're going on. So we could do something a little bit dark, but I feel like that's just so muted. So maybe we should stick to what we had down here because it does does look pretty decent so let's just stick with that but I think we do have too many lights so I think I might remove the little saucer lights to make it a little bit more moody something like that so we'll keep that the same we won't change it but up here okay I feel like we might need to just bring this up I really love that deep color but maybe we can use that in Tomax's room let me go back I think that was vampires it was maybe we can do this in his room they're very deep dark and mysterious i like that okay so up here i have no clue what i want to add up here but i do know that i want some type of musical instrument we could have add added like a piano down here but maybe we can just add one up here now realistically how would they put it up here maybe magical powers that is how they did it um <laughs> So we're just gonna say that they like bippity boppity boo and then put it up there. So that's what we're gonna say. And then I want some little seating area. I think there's some really cute like little ottomans. Maybe we can use one of those in one of those little chairs. So it's like a little gallery. I do wanna keep a lot of those browns still in this like area. So let's do something like that. And then we can also add like a little rug of some sort. Now we can use this one from Realm of Magic. I'm trying to use some of the items from Realm of Magic. So we could go ahead and utilize this since I, I don't think I've used a circle and rug just yet. So let's do something like that. And as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking we might benefit from having to like fill up this space a little bit more as I kind of want it. We can have a bar, we can do a dark brown and then go ahead and copy some of these over. So maybe instead of a dark brown, we can go for like a little white and black action. And then that kind of fills in the space a little bit more. It's still a little lopsided in my opinion, but I kind of like it, so we're gonna keep it. And instead of having that cabinet down there, I was thinking of maybe having it like close to the bathroom, some like little potions and stuff. Then we can also add some um, flowers with these really pretty like decorative wallpaper. I don't like to add too, too many pictures and things. So I think we're gonna utilize some of this. Okay, so I am gonna add a telescope outside like over by the cauldron. So maybe they like look at the stars and try to figure out when when they need to make a potion, I don't know. But this is what I've come up with upstairs. So I added some of these little greenery pieces up there. And then um, I just made a little bit more of an intimate seating area. I'm trying to think of there if there's like any other plants I wanna add over here. Now I can do some of that, but I think that might be a little bit of overkill. So what, in, what if instead of that, we do like two of these on either side so it's very like uniform? That might work, I am not sure. That's decent, I'm not mad about it. Let's just keep it as is. And let's head over to our final room, which is Tomax. So I think I want his bed to also be on this wall and I can move this over some with the little saucer light. Put the saucer light on top of the bed, to be honest. So since we have that very like rich wallpaper, I want to see, ooh, that's pretty, that's gorgeous. But look at that, I kind of like this. So let's go ahead and copy these little side tables as well, just because they look really cute, might as well. And 
yeah they got some they got black swatches that don't really match but we could highlight some of that yellow that's in the trim so let's do that i think for tomax i do want to go over to paranormal but i was thinking maybe he can have some pictures and stuff like lining this wall all of Gidri. No, let's change. That's what I said. Come on, Gidra. You don't have a purple swatch or something? We can add one of these little hands and a little set. Something like that. And maybe instead of that side table, we can have a huge plant, which I'm not mad about it. So let's do that. And there's some rugs, but I'm thinking maybe we just go like a black. So we don't have many solid options to choose from. So I'm going to go with this one and just call it and we can go in and get another little chest of drawer set from realm of magic and i'm gonna actually add him a little tv because i think that'll be nice i'm thinking let's add some of this incense and then also add this hand and i'm gonna search by clutter again maybe we can just add some of these little boxes okay instead of adding this hand over here from paranormal i'm gonna put this hand over on this side so we can have books and stuff right there but that is his room and i like how simple it is it's functional and it does the job this is a little bit busy but I, i'm not mad about it i kind of like it and then here's our downstairs with our little entertainment area our bar somewhere to watch tv cook and host our outdoors area which i'm also pretty satisfied about so that is it for today's video you guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure it's fun things like give it a big old like and subscribe down below if you haven't already we have a ton of videos coming up like a let's play series a sims 3 perhaps as well as the one lot neighborhood and then of course more of the let's make over the townies let me know who you would like for me to do next but until next video you guys i hope you're doing swell and i will see you very soon bye